Hello guys, don't have a lot of time today, but I am going to give you something that um, has kind of been coming up more often than not in my uh, coaching practice. Um, what I'm finding out is there's a lot of women that are in um, relationships that seem to be um, compromising their um, sexual desires, their um, sexual appetite um, because of the fact that perhaps maybe they're just not so attracted to their lover. They're not so attracted to the person that they are in a commitment with. And so what I'm finding is that a lot of the female clients that's kind of struggling with the situation they're uh reaching out to me to try to figure out um their sexual truth here's the thing one of the things about being in any type of long-term love relationship you're going to find yourself kind of struggling with um the confines of that relationship whatever it is i mean it doesn't matter if you are in an open poly whatever style of relationship it is there's still certain confines that you have to deal with. And a lot of times um, what's odd or unique about a woman's sexual needs and wants versus a man's is that normally women need things that many men don't really know. Um, and so I wanted to kind of help you guys out real quick. Don't have a lot of time, like I said. So one of the things that a lot of the um, issues with women that want more um, joy in the bedroom behind closed doors is that a lot of times men don't realize that women want to feel cared about, um, they want to feel um, safe. And what I mean by cared about and safe, it's not always about you know, am I in the room with somebody dangerous? Not that kind of safe, but she wants to know that her her emotions are safe. She wants to also understand that you and she have a sacred bond that really can't be infringed upon because of uh, your other interest or, or your other, um, you know, things going on outside of your relationship. So a lot, a lot of times women have been... Um, sacrificing their joy in the bedroom because of their outside commitment to um, either their children or their commitment to their you know their family dynamic and a lot of times women they don't know how to really express that they're just not really being sexually gratified or satisfied in their long-term relationship so what does a girl really want right what do what do women really desire um in their love affairs do they have certain things that they want yes they do um a lot of times like i said they want to know that they're safe their emotions are safe they want to know that you care about them they want to know that you know you're you're looking out but outside of that they want to know that your bond is sacred with them again you know when it gets down to it it's a challenge because a lot of times we don't really know what our sexual needs are as women until we do have those times where we're, we explore our own sexual understanding about who we are as beings, as women. And so when we get in these relationships, um, what we desired and felt for someone in the beginning versus long term um, can very well be different. So we as women have a tendency to decide our long-term partner based upon how great it is in the bedroom or how good of a man he is to provide financially and take care of caressing our uh, comforts and what we want, you know, homes, cars, things, right? So when you sit down and look at it, a lot of times when I'm, I'm talking to clients, that are just unfulfilled sexually, they're telling me that I just don't, I'm not moved by him. I'm not being, I'm not even attracted to him. And it's like, well, when you originally got with dude, you, <laughs> how does this happen? 
you know, how did you get to this stage of the game? Like, what did you do um, to get here? And a lot of times they tell me that their actual reason for being attracted to them was because of outside things that they gained for being with him. It wasn't necessarily that we had all of the fronts in place beforehand. So basically, a lot of times what a girl wants is she wants to have the, 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 the sexual attraction, but she also wants to have the friendship. She wants to have a guy that's able to, um, you know, cater to her needs and wants, but she also wants a man that she can be um, great friends with and have an understanding with. So it's really very challenging for me as a coach to try to help guide people in an understanding with not just depleting their whole desire sexually because they're in the confines of a relationship that they're just comfortable in. We need to start having uncomfortable conversations. And I know it's difficult and I know it's not the easiest thing to do because we want to make sure that if we keep the waters calm in the relationships, you know, the intimacy can still remain. But the problem is when you're, when I, as I'm talking to more female clients, I'm noticing that they're just not being fulfilled in the intimacy part of their relationship because they're really not having the uncomfortable conversations with their mate about what they need sexually, what they want sexually, how outside of the relationship I'm sorry, outside of the bedroom is vitally important what they what gets their 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 engine revving to want to be intimate with him, especially if there's not really a strong attraction to begin with. So again, you know, um what a girl wants can be very um unique to each woman, but I will say this, across the board, 9 times out of 10, I I have yet to meet a woman that does not have a desire to be cared for or to be, um, you know, feeling safe with her feelings and her and her emotions. Those are things that are huge for women. So, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a cue to understanding that also your intimate life, women, this is your, your message, is your intimate life should not be compromised because of something you're sacrificing long term. Because when you deplete your sexual side to you, you find yourself more, just more um, anger, easily angered. You, you feel more um, frustrated with life. You, you begin to feel depressive. And that's because you're not getting the vitality you need in a great sexual um, encounter with your lover. And so a lot of times this is what happens when we get to this point. So again... I wanted to give you something to, to help you out, you guys out. You have to realize that sometimes it's not easy, but it is definitely important to understand that when it comes down to um, intimacy and sexuality as a woman, we have to be clear as to what we need, but we also have to understand in order to know what we need, we have to explore our understanding of our sexual truth. And if you don't know your sexual truth um, as a woman, you will realize that you'll be in a lot of relationships where you feel like I'm just not getting all that I need. And then you're going to feel like you're in prison to a relationship because you're just you need something, but it's not enough. So, again, knowing your sexual truth is key for any type of relationship to to be um, vivacious long term. You've got to have that component to your love relationship. If you don't, you're going to find yourself more aggravated, um, not getting the proper rest and all of these other things. I hope I helped you guys out today. Um, if you need a coach, please reach out to me. All you have to do is inbox me or you can call me at 8445WISDOM extension 0 and I can get you what you need. Um, but like I said again, um, this is what I'm noticing in the practice right now is that a lot of people are struggling with their intimate side of their relationship because, you know, there's a lack of understanding our sexual life. There's a lack of understanding our sexual truth. And then there's a lack of really having an understanding with the men and women 
of what women need and want to really become more um, desirous and more um, eager to be intimate. So these are all things that are interconnected to make it happen. So again, I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept.